hello and welcome back to my channel um today's video is gonna be it's all gonna be around my go-to slash favorite uh, makeup brushes that i use um i've been thinking about doing this for a while but because like certain things are my favorites and sometimes and certain things are my favorites and another time like it depends what sort of makeup look i'm doing so yeah um today the makeup that I'm wearing today is on that um, Morphe palette that I did, uh, the 39A Dare to Create palette. That should be on my channel before this video goes up, but if it's not, I will link it down below if it is. Um, so, I'm going to go in order how I would apply my makeup. I might just do my face, my eyes, and then the sponges. So, for my face, I would use the Zoeva Silk Finish in 102 and it is this. Now I use this for my primer, obviously you can use this for your bronze, um, not your bronzer, your foundation and concealer. I use it for my primer because it's quite nice, everything goes in the middle so you can do it really lightly, you don't have to press it in. I do it, it disperses the product very very well. Um, so yeah, this is the one that I use for my primer. What I use for foundation will not surprise you it is the flat top Morphe brush and it is um, in that complexion goals um, set. I'm not sure what the actual brush is called but it's just the flat top one. So that's what it looks like and that's how dirty it is. Then now for now for my brush that I use for my bronzer, my blush and my setting powder i will use one of these three but i will literally use one of them for all three things so i would use it for my setting powder first because obviously that's what you guys on first i'll use it on my setting powder because it's the lightest and i'd use it as my bronzer slash contour and then my blush because the blush is normally like a neutral tone if it's like a uh, like a pinky tone i'll just swirl the brush in like um on like a tissue or something just to get that excess off so but then even if it is it helps blend it all together so that's why i do it now my top three for using these products for using them products sorry is number one is the real techniques multitask brush now this comes in a set this is in the travel set i think it is you get three brushes I actually got this in a set, a different set, it's, it used to ha have this, it had the fan brush and then it had like a tiny fan brush for like I think your brow bone. I have tried to use it but it is quite dense so I don't personally like it, I find it quite hard to work with. But no yeah, I do like this and I'm kind of hoping in the holiday collection they'll bring out one in their holiday collection so I can get another one without actually purchasing like that collect that a traveler one because this is the brush the only brush that i would use from it so so that is the multitask bronzing brush no just the multitask brush sorry so that's what it looks like then i use i also use this which is actually a real technique blush brush but i think it's brilliant for all three things because because it's so long it's really good for you setting your under eyes setting your forehead to now it doesn't take a lot of effort it's good for contour and bronzer because of the flat front it's quite bushy so it's quite good to contour the hollows so it's very good for that and obviously for your blush it's really good because I don't know, it doesn't have a slant but you can slant it so you can do it because it's micro it's some um, fiber brush I think so because it's that it's nicer just dab there so that's I really do like that brush and it comes in a single so if you can't get the multitask brush there's this as a backup and also this guy this guy i would use mostly for bronzer but obviously i do use it for everything else as well and i it's good for bronzer because it's got a tip at the top so it's really good for that it's really good same as the other brush it's flat so you can it's really good for going in like that really good for bronzing like that and then really good for blush because you tap it on like that so i think that's a really good br brush as well this is also from the complexions um set it's the face set from morphe so it works for my last two brushes sorry for the face is highlights and i was going to put the sigma one in that everyone had like on youtube for about 
I think about three years ago that it was going around, but these two are the ones that I personally use the most. And one of them is the Real Techniques Setting Setting Brush. I like this, obviously it is a setting brush, so it's hot under your eye, but I like it because it's so flat. If you can see here, it's flat there. Like it has a bounce, but it's quite flat. It's quite flat. So all you've got to do is hold the black bit I really just do that and it just comes off so nice and it like on the white bits that's where you'd want the direction it's just so nice like that and I really do like it and like a down your nose on your cupid's bow and on your brow bone it's such a good product I don't think I've ever used it as a setting brush like to set my under eye I always use the other ones because they're bigger and they just they get done quickly so I do really recommend this this one here and that is separate as well you can get that separate and this one is a morphe brush now this is actually in a eye brush collection but they don't have it on their website at the moment but i don't know if that's because it's been discontinued or if they're just not in stock at the moment and it's in that it's actually in, i think it's like a buffing fluffy brush but i use it for highlight because it's just that buffiness and the same with the other brush done at the end buff, buff, buff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. done I just really like it um, I do want to try the Morphe brush that everyone goes on about for highlight they're really I think it's quite tall but I haven't got that so I haven't got that so this is the one that I so they are all my face brushes now I'm going to go on the eye and in eye videos I also really like to use one brush because I think it helps it all blend together unless it's like a dramatic look which I don't do because I don't I'm not confident enough to wear one of them so I have one two three four six seven brushes that I use that are my favorite number one is from that complexion I well this one called the complexion eye range I think the rose gold and it's just like this I'm not sure which one it's called but it's in a set so you need to know what it's called but it's this one here i love this for blending for putting on the crease for doing your under eye it's really really good and even like your inner corner just to dab it on it's so handy so i really do like that one next is also from that collection not sh also not sure what it's called but it's just the same version but it's the real head one so it's more fluffier it's more um easier to work with that one's more stiff where this one's more easily blended like it's very good for especially like if you're just blending with a clip like you just want a clean thing a brush to blend with it's really good for that next is my holy grail this is a pointed brush this is also from that collection that is not on the on their site anymore but it's i don't know if it's been discontinued these are all morphe by the way this, this is the one that I use in every single video. I just think it's perfect, especially if you're a beginner. Kind of like myself, I find like I'm a beginner. So, I really do like that. This had to be in it because I haven't used it for a really long time, but I've loved it for so many years. It is just like the first brush that I use, but it's the Sigma E40 brush. Now, I love this brush. Just look at it. It's such a perfect brush. And it's so like, it's, it's just, I would use it for everything. This is also from the Morphe Complexion Eye Collection, the rose gold one. And this is just a standard um, pencil brush. It's really good for doing your inner corner and just blending it in to meet the inner corner, the middle shimmer. This is the, there's this one. This is the Real Techniques essential crease brush now this is just like all the other brushes that i've used but this is just like a cheaper option to use i really do like this i like that they have the black bit at the bottom because i think that's where you should hold your brush to give yourself more like control if you're like here it's going in too much if you're here it's going in just the right amount especially if you bang the brush to get the access off it's just really nice like that and last but not least is this brush here it's just a flat brush in also that um, morphe um brush set um it's just a flat brush that's all it is it's really good for putting concealer in the middle of your eye and also putting the shimmer in and it just looks like that Ooh, focus. 
sponges I am going to say might surprise you, might not surprise you. It's because um, I was going to put the Real Techniques ones on, but I find that they collect so much dust, and I hate that because when I'm clean, uh, I know like you should wash them all the time, but I don't put makeup on all the time. So when they're just in their like little tub, it's, it always collects dust, and I really hate that. With these, don't as much. And this is the Morphe. Um, highlight and contour complexion sponge and this is just their beauty sponge and i think they're brilliant especially you can, i like try and bulk buy them see mine's got a bit chunk, like a chunk taken off but i really do like them they're really handy to have and that is it that is everything they're the only brushes that i would say i 110 110 percent use i love them so much and um yeah um i might do a different one next year because obviously i am um, planning to purchase the Jaclyn Hill collection, her brush one, so hopefully maybe a few of those will be like my ride or die, shall we say. So yeah, that is the video and I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful or maybe just found like you wanted maybe to try a new brush, like a face brush, an eye brush, maybe a sponge, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, look at my hands.